Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Cold Security. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first episode of Cass Unplugged. What is Cass Unplugged? Well, we're going to take you behind the scenes of card security and show you what goes on on a day-to-day -day basis. Some of it will not be glamorous. It's not like our car and coffee events or some of the car shows we go to. It will be raw. Sometimes there might be a bit of swearing we might have to edit out, but it is what it is. You know, we are a live business and have been for a long time. So where am I standing? I am standing in the new car audio and security showroom but you don't see much car audio here. That's because we're on the home AV Direct, the home audio side of the business. Now, some of you guys probably aren't aware, we have a home audio business, which is over 40% of our business, and we sell brands such as Bose, Sonos, Denon, Kef, JBL, Yamaha, BMW. You get the drift. We've even got four demo rooms. In fact, let me show you two of the demo rooms. Check this one out. So this little room here, is set up with a KEF surround system, 5.1 surround system. And just here we've got demo room B, which has got a Dali surround system with an Optoma projector and a separate screen. We've got a separate dedicated cinema room and a loft room. So if you are after home audio, portable audio, headphones, sandbars, give us a shout. There's a separate business, a separate website, homeavdirect.co.uk separate Instagram, and now a separate YouTube channel just for Home AV. Details are down below in the description. Uh, make sure you give us a follow, and if you need anything, just drop us an email. So guys, obviously that's the home side. Now let's go over to the car side. Before I do that, um, Blade, who is normally front of house, he's sending it away in Corfu. Now Blade's the one that does all the YouTube reviews of uh, the new products. So we've got Arjun. Yeah. And Casey over there who's serving a customer. Good morning, sir. Um, so let's carry on. Car audio. So here we have uh, my 635 center of attraction in the showroom. She's been here for about four weeks. The plan is actually probably in the next few days to pull this out and put another car uh, on the center stage. Behind me, obviously, we've got my Pug 205 GTI and my Mark II 16 valve. Uh, on the mezzanine floor. These will actually be coming down in a few months and they're gonna be replaced by two of the hot hatches. Now, car audio, let's talk about car audio. Now, first things first, we are known for car audio, hence the name Cardio Security. But did you know that there is no other dealer in the UK that offers all the brands that we do under one roof, on demo and in stock? So yes, your biggest high street retailer, they do stock, JVC, Kenwood, Pioneer and Sony, but there is nobody else in the UK that has Rockford Fosgate, Focal, JBL, Audison, JL Audio, Hertz. Nobody stocks them and nobody has them on demo. And there are no pushy salesmen here. So if you wanna pop in, come and have a chat, speak to the guys, not a problem. Um, we will not switch sell you. If we haven't got it in stock, we'll be honest, we haven't got it in stock, but what we won't do is switch sell you. So. Let's, uh, let's find Palm, he's over in the workshop. Let's have a chat with him, see what cars are in the workshop. And uh, let's talk about some of the projects that he's got lined up and he's working on. So let's get over to the workshop. Right, before we walk over to the workshop, let's show you what's in the car park. Uh, we've got Purav, who's our shop manager. We've got, he's a R8, obviously on airlift. You're gonna get, see a sort of standard theme here. Uh, my E30 motorsport convertible up for sale on airlift. And then we've got our shop Mustang uh, on airlift. Do you see that theme on Roti Forms? There's a separate video on our channel with the Mustang. That actually might be going up for sale in a few months. So if you're interested, hit us up. And obviously we've got Palms uh, F80 M3 here. Standard theme, airlift, Roti Forms. Now let's get over to the workshop. So I know we've got a few projects already in the workshop. We've got a customer's car in there for uh, an audio upgrade. Uh, Palms there busy hoovering that R8. Let's uh, mic Palm up and get him on the channel. Guys, What's you up? all know Palm. Uh, my wingman as they say. So Palm, talk to me. What's going on with projects? I know this is in 
for a simple hedge unit and speaker? Yeah, that's just a uh, customer's um, lovely, it's lovely 635 CSI, um, was it E21? E E20? No, E24. E24. But yeah, it's way before my time, mind you. So it's more your it's era. Not. It's you're not. You're, your you're older than the car. What are you talking about? <laughs> Actually, uh, you know so, yeah. what? I've got to say, we've had a lot of classic BMs and Mercs come through the workshop recently. Oh, it's, crazy. it's probably on the back of all the car and coffee meets, and uh, people are now getting to know us for classic cars. Um, this one's actually got a Blaupunt unit in there, but it's not the Bremen. Entry-level model. The most common unit is the Blaupunt Bremen. Um, if you've not seen the Blaupunt Bremen, where have you been? Hit the link in the description below. Uh, but yeah, lovely 635. Is it 635? 635 CSI. Yeah. Right, what else? What else is going on? We're running a little bit behind on the workshop this week. Sam had to rush off last week, which um, means the R, sorry, the T5. Well, actually, there's two reasons why the T5 still has, because um, I. Oh, what a, are we doing with the T5 first? It's going on air. Okay. But I thought, oh, well, naturally, I thought it's going on a slam kit, like a drop kit, but the customer actually wanted a um, lift kit on it. Uh, air ride okay. lift kit because he wants to be able to go higher than stock so um, yeah that was my fault so that's been delayed um, but it's going to be hopefully coming off the ramp in a late, later today or maybe tomorrow and then we've got this uh, lovely R8 Mark II R8 in which is also going on airlift performance that should be done by tomorrow as well and we would have caught up so brilliant. in fact I think this is probably now the third R8 Oh, we've done loads. We've done this more year that. alone. We've done more than that. Just done a Lambo recently. Yeah, which used the same airlift performance kit as well. So um, we've done a Ferrari this year. We've got a Maserati coming in. Yeah, Maserati. Um, there's something else in the mix as well, which we'll talk about. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. I can't let the cat out of the bag. Yeah. But the, the, yeah, so the next one that's coming in, it is a supercar um, with a bit of a twist, and that's a long-term project, which is going to probably take us three or four months to complete. So. We'll do a full Guys, what do you think of our workshop? Now, some of you that have been coming to us over the years would have known that the previous workshop was very tired and a mess. Uh, when we... It was, mate, it was the It was a It was It was, was alright when we first started, but yeah. after 15 years of... Neglect. Good, good, no, good use. And, and neglect. <laughs> neglect, use, and the amount of traffic that came in and out of that workshop over the 15 years, it served us well, but... The time had come because obviously we opened the new showroom uh, last year so we had to bring the workshop up to look as good as the shop so yeah it, it's a lot nicer a lot fresher obviously Sealy Sealy came in kitted it all out for us and now you know there's uh, an abundance of storage space as well so now. yeah in our workshop now there's a separate woodwork room there's a separate metalwork room um, there's even an area where they can uh, paint uh, if they need to paint panels and so on. And there's a separate area where they can uh, spray glue and so on. Hopefully they only spray glue there, not sniff it. <laughs> I don't know with these guys. Uh, they've even put their own... It's what sort keeps of, Jay going. It does. They've, sniffing glue. There's Jay. Look, look at him. Has he been sniffing glue today? <laughs> they've even got their own little Sonos setup here going on with a, a doubled-in stereo, which they can wirelessly connect to and so on. So they're really up the game. Uh, we've even created a room upstairs which, is which we're going to use at some point for vlogging. Uh, so it'd be like a similar setup to what we got in the showroom with a sofa and so on. Uh, we'll show you that in a, a forthcoming episode. Um, so um, first, there's Jay. There's, everyone knows Jay. Father Christmas. Okay, it's not Christmas, but everyone knows Jay. And you've got Steve behind me. He's a bit camera shy, but Steve's there. Sam's hidden himself. He's gone into the woodwork room. So he's going to be playing with wood or playing with some other type of wood, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, let, let's carry on walking. Right, Palm's disappeared. I think he's gone to get his car keys. Now let me show you something, uh, a project that we've been working on for about a year, but the actual business has been live for about three or four years. So on this side of the building, we've opened up a new showroom. Shop, it's not a showroom, shop. Tool Store Direct. Come in, have a look. I thought you were going to get your car keys. I could be in many places at the same time. <laughs> Whatever. Um, tool Store Direct. I'm not going to go too much into this, but um, the shop is live. It's open. The website's live, Tool Store Direct. There's a separate Instagram. And we sell a load of branded tools. Um, if you need anything, pop down. Pop down to one of our car and coffee events. We'll cover this in another episode because this side of the business deserves that. And there's a massive stock holding. Is that right? 
That's absolutely correct. Just to give you an example, I've just, <laughs> just this morning I got contacted by a garage up the road and uh, all of a sudden he's getting a lot of electric vehicles. EV vehicles, yeah? EV vehicles that he needs to work on, but he's not fully equipped. So he's, he rang me this morning and goes, can you put me a toolkit together? Hold on, Henry, come back. Henry! He's normally in Worthersea or Poland or I don't know, wherever, Tokyo, SEMA, Vegas. I don't know. Should we do... Oh, oh, maybe I shouldn't, suggest, have <laughs> I shouldn't have opened that door. <laughs> Everyone knows Henry. Everyone's seen Henry living the life, going to all the shows. You know, I'm lucky if I get out to a show which is outside of the M25. Seems to be he's going to shows that are everywhere outside of the UK at the moment. But it's not always about shows. This is the other side of it. Sometimes in a tool shop. <laughs> what do you know about tools? <laughs> he's a tool himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, obviously, it's quite Henry, a handy tool. Having said that, a very is. handy tool. For those of you that Saved yeah, for those of you that don't know, Henry heads up uh, social media, um, and there's a team of three. There's Jason behind the camera. Jason. Show yourself. And we've also got Harrison as well. Um, so yeah, they look after all the social media, the Instagram, the YouTube, Facebook, all of that kind of stuff. So, um, so yeah, sorry, before, you can go now. <laughs> you go to another show, are you? <laughs> so what are you saying? The guys contacted you, EV vehicles? Yeah, so he rang up this morning and he goes, can you put me a, a basic EV, uh, EV toolkit together so that he can safely work on? Like a bundle? On... Yeah, okay. so just, I was just in there. Uh, all right, I'm not going to go too much to into the tool side there. because we will be here forever. So we'll introduce more of this side of the business in maybe the next episode. Let's, uh, Palm, let's grab your M3 keys. Let's go out for a drive in the M3 and let's have a chat. Uh, what's been happening yeah. and what's going to happen. Let's go. Okay, let's go. All right, for data. Where are we going? 312. Let's do the... Uh, Should we do 312 or M4? Three one, well, three one two loop if you want. We're not going to speed anyway, so we're just normal driving. Oh, do you want to drive then? <laughs> F80 M3, which we've had for like ever, ever donkey's years. I think we bought it with 2,000 miles on the clock. Yeah, man. And it's on 36 and a half thousand miles. Five years, I think. It's been about five years now, mate. Yeah. Uh, I th we need to drop an episode just on this car at some point. We've have not we, done that. Have we done one on this? No. What? The longest-serving car, and we've not done a video no, on it. No, you just sit in your office looking at piston heads on what to replace it with. How's about actually doing an episode on the car? We'll drop it on the cha channel soon, guys. So, um, what's happening? Uh, a lot's happening, mate. Oh, that meet this weekend, WLC. WLC, West London Classics meet this weekend, just gone. Uh, wow, the inaugural. Inaugural. Inaugural? I can't. Why don't, you, why don't you just say first event? Their first official proper event held in Stoke Poges, and those guys smashed it out of the park. 600 plus cars, 2,000 people, family day out. Uh, we're gonna drop a vlog on the channel soon. Guys, you smash that event. They've already fixed a date for July. I'm not sure which date, but yeah, July 2023, we'll be there and we'll be, we'll be there in full force. So that was a good event. Even I enjoyed it and that's yeah. saying something. Yeah, he can be a moody bugger. <laughs> um, so uh, what else, what other events we got on? Uh, well, we've got, um, oh, we've got Rollhard coming up in, Bista Heritage, is that yeah, the same? Yeah, yeah Bista, Bista Heritage yeah, in yeah. a couple of weeks. Uh, we've got our own car and coffee, no, car and curry, which is an evening event. Uh, Saturday, 20th of August. Yeah, five till nine. So if you want to go clubbing after that, you've still got plenty of time to do that. Uh, details down below. Just go to a car security website, click on the events tab. Uh, if you'd like to bring your car, you need to pay five pound to bring your car. We do not pocket that five pound, by the way. All that money from this year, those five pounds that those people have paid, we're going to tally up at the end of the year and that money will go to charity. So there could be a good few grand which we will divvy up. Do we, do we know how much is in that pot at the minute? I don't know. That's a job for Henry to do. You'll have to get his calculator out because he's not very good with numbers. Okay. Um, so yeah, cars and curry. Uh, and then we've got Westside VW. They've announced their date. Oh, yes. Yes, Westside. Uh, end of September, yep. Chalfont St. Peter. That's a really good event. We've been going to that event for like a, g a gazillion years. 
Um, make sure that date is in your diary. Uh, and we've got some more car and coffee events lined up for September, October. We haven't launched them on the website yet because we haven't confirmed the dates, but keep an eye again on our events tab. Um, projects, now, earlier on, easy, Tiger. Sorry, I'm trying to talk, sorry. Um, earlier on, you mentioned a super cool project. Don't mention the car. Oh, yes, so um, we've got a, a customer of ours, <laughs> he's, he's He's bought a car, so he, he basically bought this car while he was on holiday, all right? So he was, he was in Spain as on holiday. Do. As you do. And he thought, you know what? I'm gonna buy myself a new car. And he bought a car without seeing it. Supercar. It's a supercar as well. Now it's pretty cool because he doesn't wanna see the car until his birthday, which is in March 23. So it's okay. a few months away. So we've got a few months to get it done, but it's, it's gonna be super cool. It's a big birthday for him, isn't it? It's so a, that's, bi it's yeah. a big number. No, it's a small number, but it's a significant number. Okay, so yeah. It sounds a bit better, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, people might think this geezer's got to be like 50 or 60 years old, yeah, but he's not. Nothing wrong with being 50, by the way, yeah. It's just <laughs> still very young, but it's a significant number for anybody. Um, so, yeah, um, it's, a, it's a supercar. I'm not going to let on what it is, but I will let on. It's obviously going on air. It's going to have wheels. And uh, more importantly, it's going to be a Liberty Walk build. So I'm flipping over, I'm over excited about this. It's going to be cool. We're going to vlog that for the channel. There'll be yeah. a few episodes. We'll oh, yeah. cover that on the channel. Yeah. You've just recently bought another car, haven't you? Yeah, I've just bought another classic car. Um, we've actually shot the video already. That will be dropping on the channel probably a few days or a week after this episode drops. Uh, classic car, hot hatch. Pretty cool. Be looking one for a year. Uh, found one, so yeah, I'm super excited with that. You, you love piping people up, innit? Yeah, you I do. The man. mystery and the suspense. It's, it's, it's all about it, you know. It's, <laughs> it's not clickbait, because I'm not clickbaiting anyone, but you know, <laughs> it's nice to sort of do a reveal and it gets people excited and they yeah, come back and have a chat. And this car is actually going to bring back memories for a lot of people. You know, there's going to be a lot of guys out there who are going to smile when I reveal this car. So, uh, guys, make sure you keep an eye uh, peeled on our socials. Um, yeah, so uh, selling a few cars, s 2000s up for sale, uh, E30 325i Motorsports up for sale, um, my 355 currently with HRO in for service, that's going for sale. Have they still got that? They've still got that, they proper took their time on that one, but I didn't have the space for it anyway, so that's kind of cool. Other than that, deals, what's going on? Promotions, deals, what you've got? Um, what have you got? Well, at the minute, um, stock is hard to come by, so we're, we're not really able to do as many deals as we normally like to. Um, Tell me but, about it. You know, uh, airlift is still going strong. Oh, by the way, uh, we've got we we've, we've had a few supply issues, not because of airlift, but just because of manufacturing and raw materials and stuff. Um, but you'll be happy to know that we've got. 12 or 13 pallets of airlift stock on its way which is going to land probably sometime next week so yeah um, whether you're a, re uh, a retail customer or whether you're one of the airlift dealers they're stock landing imminently so yeah cool. get, get ready to fill your boots that's cool that's cool any 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 issues that you're having biggest problem i've got is recruitment so we're currently we're about i think 44 staff 43 staff um trying to recruit good quality staff is very, very, very difficult at the moment. I think in most sectors, it's very similar. Um, so yeah, we're looking for uh, sales staff, back office sales staff, uh, customer services, warehouse, another workshop engineer. If you fit any of that criteria, drop us an email to support at cardiosecurity.com um, with a CV and um, we might be in touch. If you're a graduate, drop us an email, you know, kind of cool if you just come come out of university and you finish a degree and you don't know what you want to do we can offer you uh, an opportunity in different sectors within our business now how, um, so going by the size of the business how many staff should we be at ideally uh, we need to be around 50 staff because we're over, we are overstretched at the minute we? we're overstretched we are overstretched we need to be about 50 staff and I said 44 but I know couple have left recently so we're probably 42 maybe even 41 yeah. so we need to be very close to 50 staff um, guys don't forget we're not just car security so as well as having car security we are home AV direct as you know I showed you the home side um, we're also the tuning store which harm and Matt handle sorry that's the think we're in the background um, so you got the tuning store we've got the tool store which has just gone live recently We've also got Slam Sanctuary, which is our clothing and merch side. 
and we've also got car audio trade now car audio trade uh, that supplies car audio and some performance products into the trade industry up and down the country separate dedicated team separate dedicated website which needs a login um, so yeah if you're a trader and uh, you're looking to buy car audio drop us an email support at cardiscurity.com that doesn't include the people that work from home because we do not do <laughs> yeah sorry yeah if you're a bedroom trader so what we mean by bedroom traders if you want to buy a couple of bits of car audio and sell them to your mates we won't give you a trade account sorry that's not what we class as trade um, a trade account is somebody who's got a valid VAT number so if you've got a VAT number you know your turnover is minimum £85,000 a year we class that as a, a trader uh, drop us a, an email and we can hook you up with the trade team and you'll get access to all sorts of spot deals to give you an idea we serve 400 in fact over 450 trade accounts up and down the country uh, Ireland uh, and into Europe so yeah it's uh, quite a sizable part of the business so um, we'll introduce all these separate elements of the business in forthcoming episodes yeah uh, yeah, we could maybe do a, just a quick one on each separate like a snapshot. Yeah, yeah, snapshot of each department. In, you know, introduce some of the team. Yep. Um, so yeah, guys, um, this has been our first ever CAS unplugged. Why is it called unplugged? Because it's not been edited. It's not going to be uh, sugar coated. Because my name is not Willy Wonka. Um, but you get the gist of it, right? Yeah, th there are sometimes some issues that we have, as every business Listen, you does know what? have. Every business has issues. Um, it's impossible not to have any issues. It's part of the parcel of running a business, right? But yeah, I, think, I, I, I think it's the way you kind of handle it and get, o get over those issues that... Uh, oh, look at that. That's nice. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Rolls Royce Corniche. Um, yeah, so every business has issues and you know, over the forthcoming uh, episodes, we'll, we'll talk about some of those issues and it's real life scenarios. Um, Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. What would you like us to bring onto the CAS Unplugged? You know, do you want to see more of the staff? Do you want to see more of uh, the home side? You know, what do you want to see? Do you know what? I do, it, quite funny. Last time, so, uh, someone messaged in saying, "Can you let us know what you lot normally have on for lunch on a daily basis?" Okay. Are you serious? Well, if you guys want to see that, let us know. We'll show you what we have for lunch. <laughs> I always bring lunch from home, uh, but these guys have. Uh, kebabs and all sorts of stuff but um, yeah we can bring that to the channel so yeah what do you want to see hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have uh, make sure you hit that like button any questions or comments you have uh, drop them down below uh, in the description are all the emails and the website links um, share like, subscribe like share and subscribe come on you've been saying this how many videos get it right yeah all right. like share subscribe and comment Oh yeah, leave a yeah. comment. All right guys, and, thanks for watching. And tag a few mates while you're at it. And uh, we'll be back in uh, another episode of Cast Unplugged. Probably drop every three or four weeks. So yeah, see you again soon. Bye. Sorted.